hello there welcome back again to my channel if you are new here you're welcome thank you for tuning in please subscribe to my channel turn your notification bell on to get notified each time i upload new videos this video i mean this tutorial is fully loaded guys stay tuned as i take you through the process from part one to three yes because this trouser is what you don't want to miss anything in this tutorial so now here is the fabric i'm having which is crepe material i'm taking the front panel now which is a measurement for the front panel the length i'm working with for the total of this trouser of uh, this palazzo pant is you know um 42 inches and right here i'm having 42 inches so just follow me step by steps as i take you through the details so the first thing i'll do now is taking my measurement from the waistline um the the, the hip measurement i'm working on is 44 inches so i'll be taking 11 inches now from the waistline downwards so after taking this 11 inches here i'll go to the other side again and outline it after outlining it there i will go down by two inches again so just note it that anytime you are if you if you have watched so many of my you know um trousers tutorial you will know and understand what i'm trying to say here so just to give it a bit of you know space and allowance so you'll be free on that area on your crush area so you had two inches to whatever you are having for the trouser after taking your you know hip measurement which is a vertical measurement for this uh, pant so now I'll take the two, um, two inches now and then i'll take my ruler and connect it after outlining it i will take my circumference for this pants now the measurement i'll be taking my hip divided by four and i'll be adding extra one inches which gives me 12 inches so i'll outline that now and then i'll go to the crush line i will be measuring my time measurement dividing it into two on the um down part of this um, line which is on this line which is a crush line so i'll be taking my time measurement dividing it into two which is 15 inches then i'll be adding extra two inches here and then on the hip line i'll come back to the hip line and i'll be adding extra one inches to the hip line just because of the allowance for this pant so uh, for the sewing allowance and is a is a pant that needs much volume so which is what i told you earlier that this trouser is just a different one compared to all i've been making so i'll be adding two inches extra here right now for the you know crush line so just watch closely so after adding this two inches now i will go back to this line i will connect it now to the crush line using my pattern master as you can see i already outlined that so i will take my measuring tape now whatever i'm having on this line which is on the hip line i'll go up to the you know to my waistline and then i'll be taking the same measurements for this waistline so and then i'll be connecting it using my um, pattern master now to do that making sure the line is straight using your pattern master like so so after doing this now um this is the next thing i will be going to the side waistline which is the upper side of the waistline i will go in by one inches and then i'll connect it using my pattern master again on a straight line so after connecting this i'll go down to the pants and then i will be measuring my crush line the whatever i'm having on the crush line 
I'll be subtracting 3 inches. So the 3 inches now, from this area, which is the sides of the pants, I'll go in by 1 inches. And then on the center part, I'll be going in by 2 inches, which makes it 3 inches I'm removing for the down part of this pant. So I'll then connect it from the hip line using my chalk and the ruler so to connect it so making sure it is straight so i'll connect this also from that crush line there downwards and that will be all for this um, down part so the next thing i will do now is i'll cut this out now take my scissors and then i'll cut it out Cutting everything out now, I'll go to the upper waistline and then I'll be going down by one inches and connect it to that side waistline. So I'll take my scissors and I'll cut it out now. So after cutting this out, I'll be removing this and I'll be placing it on a fabric which will be for the back. Um, panel of the pants I'm making so after placing this I'll start my measurement this is me here I'm just trying to rearrange it so it is well aligned so make sure you have extra excess fabric by the sides of your front panel before cutting out the back panel as you can see on the screen the way I placed my so now I'll cut the down part like so so just to make sure the down part is you know accurate with the one i'm having here so after doing that the next thing i will do is go to the upper area pay attention to the upper area the upper area here will go up by two inches remember i remove one inches from the front panel so i'll add extra one inches to that area and on this crush line, I'll be going out by 2 inches as well. And then I'll take my pattern master and I'll connect it on a straight line. So I'll outline it. After outlining it, I'll go back to that side. The other side, I, you know, I took in 1 inches for the front panel. But on this area here, for the back, I'll go out by 1 inches just for the boot area right, so i'll be connecting it now i'll connect this upwards and then i'll connect it downwards to this crush line using um my pattern master but before doing that i'll go up by one and a half inches and then i'll be connecting it using my pattern master you can use your straight hand if you feel like using it as you can see me doing so i'll just be connecting it from there i'll be using my pattern master to connect it straight so as you can see the curve is not really the same thing as the you know the front panel for this back so i'll connect this area again on a straight line from that two inches to that side so as you can see me doing I'll take my scissors now and I'll start cutting everything out.
part now i will add extra one edges to the center side and then i'll connect it to the crush line after connecting it i'll start cutting it to cut the pocket as you can see on the screen sometimes ago in february i made this two piece and um it was a very short time so i couldn't make a tutorial on this so someone was actually asking me how i um how she can make it and i should put it up you know that was the reason why i said um this time around i will be putting much of um tutorial on trousers online i mean on my channel so you can you know know how to make a lot of you know different types of you know um trousers of your choice so that's why i'm putting this because i got another order from someone here so here is how you'll be cutting it just make sure the side of the you know pocket aligns with the trouser with the side of the pants you're making so before um cutting out the shape for the side shape again for the front so what you need to do just make sure your hand goes in round so you cut it like so as you can see me doing this is the inside of the pockets now so i'll cut this into two making four piece this is two picks for both sides of the trouser so i will be separating it now this is one of the two piece so everything is the same shape remember i cut everything on the same uh, pattern so now i'll be placing this two piece now on the front panel of the palazzo pants i'm making as you can see what you do is you place it like so and you make sure it is the same thing like the sides are equal so um i will measure four inches downwards you can measure more if you are depending on how wide you want the pocket slit to be so this is four inches and then i'll take two inches going inwards the trouser i remember this is the front panel now it is not the back panel I already joined the crush line together for the you know for the front panel so now i'll be cutting that um that's now what i just measured so i'll cut this out now following the two and um four inches so depending on how wide you want it to be but just make sure it's not really um it's not too in you know when you're cutting it the two inches is um, what you need to cut from heat two inches inward so now i'm placing the other side of the you know pants for the front onto the other one so just to cut it and make it accurate so here is it so yeah guys this is the outlook after cutting it so um watch out for the part two of this tutorial where i will be showing you how you can you know make these splits and again the band the button and the rest of it so, so kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and again turn your notification bell on to get notified when i upload new video guys bye